Hi, this is Stephanie, and you are uh, today. I'm going to be using my Ninja Speedy right here. Um, I am going to make some steak and macaroni and cheese for dinner. So I want to take you along so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, guys, just my Ninja, and this is the pot we're going to start with. I have in here about two cups, just a little bit more, of macaroni. In it goes. That's all we need. Then I've got about three cups, a little bit more, to the drop of water. And I'm just going to throw that right in here. So it just kind of covered it up. I also have some... Some butter. I'm gonna put a little bit of this butter in here right now as it's cooking. May literally add more. So I think maybe I'll add, um, let's see, one, two, about three tablespoons of butter at the moment to this whole thing. So got a nice piece of butter, about that much. Stick it in here, let it cook all together. Now, next thing I'm going to do is put the top on. Okay. Here goes the top. You know, you got to open up these feet here. That's what I call them, feet. And you put it right in. Right, you see these ledges. So, just so you know, right? put them on these ledges right here. Put them right down. And there it goes. Okay. Now, we are going to make steak. So, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do with that steak. Okay, I am going to put in these two steaks. These are Omaha, with Omaha steaks, and they're ribeyes. So, I'm going to put these two in, and I want them like medium to medium well, but I'm going to stick them in here. So, I'll re-season them with um, onion powder, garlic powder, some um, Montreal seasoning, and a little bit of my Spain spice garlic er garlic and herb. That's what I like to use. So I'm going to use them. Now I'm going to take you down so we can set this up. I'm going to put the top down first. Top down. All right, top is down. This is up. I'm going to tell you what else we're doing here. All right, I'm going to turn it on first. There she goes. Now we have, we're on the rapid cooker side. That's why this is up. And we are taking her down to steam and crisp, which is the second from the, the top and the one, two, three, fourth from the bottom. One, two, three, fourth from the bottom. So there she goes. We are going to now take the temperature down a little to three, let's say 360. I like a little a little crispier, but we'll see. I'm going to leave it like that. And we're going to take the time to 20 minutes. Yes, perfect. Then we press start, and here we go. I'll be back at the halfway mark. We'll talk to you later. All right, guys. I'm back at the eight-minute mark here. Yep, eight minutes. So let's look at it. Of course, we've got to get rid of that smoke. We gotta get rid of that smoke. There you go, that's closer. Now, I'm gonna take the temperature check. Okay, I got the temperature. I'm gonna see what, what they at right now. I'm gonna put them all the way in. They're like, looks like 175, 182. I think that's not quite right. 183, I don't think they're right, but maybe. And let's see. 191, 197. Oh no, that seems quite done to me. Actually, it really seems quite done to me. Let me turn it over. I really should have did these after I got the macaroni going. Probably. But I'm going to put them in, keep them in a little longer. Because one thing, I want them a little darker. So I'm going to keep them in a little longer and put them in, but they smell delicious. They smell so good. So I'm gonna put it in, leaving it in maybe five more minutes. I'm taking them out, but I'm gonna let this continue to cook for the rest of the, the 20 minute time because I really want 
the macaroni would be just about done. And I honestly, it kind of is done. You know what? Five more minutes. Be right back. Okay, guys. Off camera, I turned the temperature up to 400. And it's really only been in about two minutes. And I'm going to check it out. I just wanted to get color on my steak. It's got a little bit more color. I could use a little bit more. But it will be perfect because we certainly do not want these overdone. So we're taking them off. That's what we're going to do. And I believe my... I believe my macaroni is ready. It is. Yes, it is. So what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna just stir it up. And yes, it does have some of that nice juice from my uh, from my steak in here. But we're gonna just stir it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get close in here so you can actually kind of see how we doing here. So I stirred it up. And it's ready. I don't need to do anything else. Now I got some Velveeta. These are Velveeta slices. And they are uh, extra, they are cheddar. Cheddar Velveeta slices. And I think I got about six of these. Maybe five of these. Let's see how many I got. I think five. Put them in. I'm going to put a pop of pepper in here. Because I like that on my macaroni. Stick it on here. We got some extra sharp cheddar cheese also. I'm gonna throw that in, throw some of this in. That we do need, yes we do. I say two handfuls should do it. There we go. And then we're gonna also put some carnation milk in there. That's what I usually use. Just, you know, what is that? Quarter, a half a cup maybe, maybe half a cup, and we're gonna stir. There we go. We're gonna stir this in. It will make its own um, sauce. Now I have the Cracker Barrel. This is the, I love this stuff. The Cracker Barrel Extra Sharp Yellow Cheese. And I'm just gonna put, gonna put that cheese just right on top of here. Then we're going to broil it. So this whole meal really didn't take long. It tastes good. I'm chewing it. So all right now, I got like about five minutes left, but we are not gonna use those five minutes. This whole dinner really only took 20 minutes after it came to steam. The most it took was 20 minutes. So what, a, but I'm turning it off and we are going to put the top down. We are going to do, um, let's see, we need to do um, broil. So we need to pull this down, turn it back on. So on this side, we're gonna do broil, which is one, two the third one from the top one two three four five from the bottom so the third one from the top is broil it's on 450 um let's see can we put some minutes on it 10 minutes it won't even take i'm gonna put it on for maybe five minutes i'm gonna get that nice and gooey and then we'll be ready to eat at least i'm gonna show it i'm gonna show you guys to turn i have to turn it on I'm turning it on. Okay, now, I'll be back. Okay, I'm at one and a half minutes left. Okay, let me see if I can get you in closer. It can definitely use the rest of that one and a half, so I want it nice and brown. 
So I'm going to put it in and let it keep going. Okay, I added another three minutes because I wanted it to, to really get brown. So I'm going to let you guys see what it looks like. Doesn't that look good? Got some mac and cheese in a few minutes. Homemade. Homemade. Not for the box. Homemade. And also, the difference that I would do uh, in my in the recipe is just really put it in for about 10 minutes with the steak. Put the 10. Oh, or no, definitely put it in with the steak for maybe 10 minutes. And at the five minute mark, look at it. But this is how it looks. Let me see if you can see that. And it's it's almost really well done, but it's not quite there, but it's delicious. So I've been eating it. Well, if you want well done, then you still should do it 10 minutes, maybe 10, 12 minutes, and then you'll be okay. So hold on, I'm gonna show you what a plate looks like. I'm gonna dish some in this plate right here. Let's see. Yeah, try this corner right here. Look at that macaroni. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh my goodness, I gotta, I gotta let you see me taste some. But I need a thumbnail. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna put, this is gonna be Perry's. But I'm gonna let you see my meat. Eat the macaroni and cheese, hold on. Okay guys, I'm not going to eat Perry steak. But you see I got a piece up there for me that I'm gonna try in front of you guys. And here's my fork. I'm def I can eat a little bit of his macaroni and cheese. We can replace that. Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, it's hot. This is good. It's my mac and cheese. <laughs> it's good. I taste some more of the pepper because it was um the uh, pepper from the steak on there. So it went right down into the macaroni and it's delicious. Delicious. Now, I'm trying this, this steak. It's almost, basically I say we're almost well done. It's got a great flavor. You don't want it, just done. Instead of 20 minutes, make everything 10 minutes. That's my tip for this one. Make everything 10 minutes, especially if you don't want it well done. Make even 10 minutes, period. It don't need 20 minutes. 10 minutes is all it really needs. So I'll put that in the front of the video so you guys, a little note to let you know. Really do 10 minutes and don't do 20. And I'd also put it on maybe 375. But here we go. I'm finished eating that. And I'm going to say goodbye to you guys before I eat up all Perry's macaroni. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming. And I will talk to you guys soon. Be good. Bye-bye.